Good morning, Sabah al Khair. Today is day 24 in our 30 day Lebanese Arabic challenge course. And this is the absolute beginners class with Joe and Rosie. Hi, girls. Hi. I can say hi, Banet. Girls. Hi, Banet. Let me say what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to share my phone screen with you so that you know how to, you learn how to download an Arabic keyboard, how we use the Arabic keyboard and all of that. And then we will do, uh, we will start with countries and nationalities. Okay. If, if we have enough time, I doubt it, we will do a lesson that is like a, a small conversation of two people who have just met. You know, the basic questions they ask each other. If not, we leave that for tomorrow, okay? Jezin, yalla. Let me firstly uh, share my screen, my phone screen here. So if you, uh, I'm using an iPhone, so I'm not sure how this works when it's an Android, but uh, you will figure out, you will figure out how to use it when it's an Android. Like it's going to be the same keyboard, the same ways, more or less. Okay, maybe with some differences later on. Okay, so uh, let me share my screen with you. And yeah, I'll just we take it from there. Yeah, let me know if you can see it. Okay, girls. So share screen. Hopefully it works. Can you see? Yes. Can you see my phone? Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go to uh, to the settings. Here, I clicked on settings. When I go up, you just click language, languages. Okay, in my case, I already have the Arabic keyboard here. You notice I have it here. Okay, I'm just going to quickly remove it just to show you how to add it. I'm just going to delete it. Okay, uh, and then let's just add it again. Okay, one second. Okay, it just went away one, one moment. Okay, so let's go back to the settings. Here in the settings, I'm going to type languages up here, language. Okay, language and region. You click on it, and then you have uh, the region for me, it says United Kingdom. So I'm going to click on other languages. You click on other languages and you type Arabic. When you type Arabic, click on it. You, uh, for me, I just keep English because I want it to be my preferred keyboard. So you just keep English and there you go. You will have it on your keyboard now. Okay. So it is now on your keyboard when you, when you open WhatsApp. So I'm going to open WhatsApp. I'm going to stop the share, open WhatsApp and go to our group. And then reshare again. One moment. Just give me a moment, okay? Um, just so I can go immediately to our. <laughs> I'm going to delete the photo that I just sent to you with my setting <laughs> in the morning setting. Or we can just keep it. It's fine. Okay, yeah. So again, let me just try to do this. Okay. Do you have it downloaded on your uh, phones, girls? Or you, you've removed it, or is it still there? Sure. Do you have it? The download of the yeah. Arabic key. OK, so if you click on your phone, you have this little globe, uh, like the, 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 the globe on the, at the bottom of your keyboard on the left. So if you click on it, you will go you will find the arabic keyboard okay uh, shall we just like randomly read them from right to left harf al jim yalla go for it rosie harf al jim harf al we're going from right to left so i clicked on the jim jim harf al jim harf al Rain, harf el 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 fe, harf el fe, harf el fe, okay, harf el kaf, harf el sa, or ta, no sa, or sa, harf el sa, harf el, harf el, 
حرف ال next حرف one ال ال صا صاد حرف الصاد and then حرف ال داد 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 okay يلا then we have جو شو هيدا الحرف حرف ال تربوتة إيه تي مربوطة we will just call it تي مربوطة we will not even say حرف ال تي مربوطة we will just say تي مربوطة and then we have حرف ال كاف حرف الميم حرف النون حرف التاء حرف ال حرف الألف حرف اللام حرف ال ب حرف ال يا حرف الدين حرف الشين اوكي okay, I'm gonna do the rest here we have ألف مقصورة واو ري زين دال ذال تا ظا or ظا in the Lebanese and the همزة okay so this is the order of your keyword it should be يعني choose the keyword that has this order if you want I, I'm used to it this I use it this way some keyboards can be maybe the, the letters can be flipped or something now let's see how we how the letters change when you type them so for example if i put a b and i want to write a y the word bait for example okay i can write the b immediately click on the yeah it will change on its own you don't need to think about the middle form and the final form it will change on its own and then i put the ta i clicked on it obviously you can see how this is going bigger so you know which which one i'm clicking on yeah so bait, it's changing on its own. So that's a, that is a very, very big advantage when it comes to using your keyboard to write, because at this stage, if you're still not 100% sure about how your middle form should look, how your final form should look, how your beginning form should look, using the keyboard will, uh, will make you understand it. So play with your keyboard for the next couple of days until you get used to it, okay? So it will change on its own. Now, what if I want to uh, add more details and I want to write the same word bait with the punctuation? So look what I have to do. I click on the ba. You see the, the ba that I clicked on, yes? I clicked on it. Then there is this at the bottom of the keyboard next to the enter button. You have like dot, 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 dot circles. You click on it. You don't remove your hand. You click on it without removing your thumb. And then you go right and left to choose whichever uh, haraka you want. Haraka. This, these are the haraka. For now, I need a fatha. So I'm gonna. You see, I'm not removing my thumb at all. I'm just swiping, and that's the fatha. Once I have, once I am on the fatha, it's highlighted in blue. I remove my thumb, and it goes there on the word. Then I will write the letter ya. Yeah. I go find the ya, yeah, which is here, as you can see. Ya. Yeah. I wrote it. The ya. Yeah. Now I want to find this school. What I do is I go back to the same dot, 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 circles. I click on it without removing my hand and I swipe to the left to find my school. There's the school. It's highlighted in blue. So I just release it. And then I write T, the letter T. It's changing on its own. You see the B, yeah, and T adjust on their own, the beginning, middle, final. If I want to add my punctuations, this is how I have to add my punctuations. Okay. Now, um, what about the Hamza? If I want to write, let's say, a word that has a Hamza on top uh, or under, you have two options. You can go to the left, to, to the far left, and to the third row. You have the Hamza. Can you see it? It's here. Yeah? Now, if I press on it without removing my finger, if I press on it, you see, you will see the Hamza on the Alif, under the Alif, on the Ye, and on the Wow. Remember, we mentioned that sometimes, rarely, you will see the Hamza sitting on the Wow. You will see it sitting on the Ye, but without the lines under. And then you have the Hamza under, and then the Hamza on the Alif or the Hamza on its own as well. But the second option to do that is you click on the Alif without removing your thumb. Click on the Alif without removing your thumb. And there you go. You have the Alif on its own. You have the Alif with the Hamza above. Alif with the Hamza under. And what is this wavy thing? What did we call it? We said it doesn't exist so much. Have I mentioned it to you or no? 
Mata? Mata? Yes, it's the Madda. I might have mentioned Mata. it in another course. If I haven't mentioned it, I'm mentioning it, mentioning it now. It's the Madda. This is also very rare to see. When you see it, it means there are two alifs next to each other, almost like two hamzas next to each other, and you pronounce it as hamza with the a ah, ah, at the beginning of the word, you will see it. Okay, so for example, you will see it a ah, or a, we will pronounce it. You will see it in verb to eat a ku with the dhamma, and then lam a kul a kul. Okay. It's, a, it's rare to see. It's not very common. Okay. So you have, again, the alif. You press on it without removing your finger. You have the alif here on top, under, and the alif with the wave, which is called the madda. Madda or madde, you can call it in the Lebanese dialect. Now, uh, what if you want to put an, a hamza, but also use a punctuation with it? So, for example, I want to write uh, the word, the verb. Uh, ishrab, to drink, ishrab. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to press on the alif. Ishrab, ishrab. Do you think it has a kasra, damma, skun, fatha? What does it have? Ishrab. Sure. I, ishrab. Fatha, damma, kasra, skun, what? The kasra. Kasra, it's i, ishra. So if it's a kasra, my hamza should be above or under? Under. 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 So if I put i here, it's fine. But if you want to put the i with the kasra, you can still do it. You see, it's too tiny. You can't see here, but on your phone, you will see it if, you, if it's in front of you. You have a hamza and you have a kasra under the hamza. So that's E. And then you click on the sheen. There you go. That's the sheen. And then the re. That's the ra. Ish. Actually, I'm going to put the spoon on the sheen before. So I press on the spoon. That's it. I release my finger. And then I'm going to press on the ra and release my finger. And then go to these dot, 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 dot. I'm going to swipe without removing my hand. And once I reach to the fatha, then I release ishra, and then b, ishrab, ishrab, verb to drink, ishrab. Okay. Uh, I wanted to show you the alif masura as well. If you go to the to the this one here, you will see the alif masura. You will see it on its own as an alif masura, and here the hamza on top, which is actually the hamza sitting on the letter ya, yeah, where that it that, that loses its dots. Okay, you will not see this a lot. Okay, but this is your alif masura in case you you're looking for it. And the temar buta here, hmm? temar buta, as we said. Uh, I think that's it when it comes to to the keyboard. You obviously you have the numbers here. We still didn't do the numbers. We still didn't write them. Maybe we can write them in our next lesson so that we can also you can also use them on your keyboard. Okay? Yeah? So that's it for, for the keyboard. Do you have any questions with regards to using what? Like here, also there is something I never mentioned to you before. Notice your question mark. It's, it's looking to the right in Arabic. It doesn't look to the left. Notice something else I didn't tell you before. If you go to your punctuations, you will notice that your comma is not this one like in English. It's this one upside down. It's like a number six, a tiny number six, very, very small number six. That's your comma in Arabic. Okay. And your exclamation mark is the same. It doesn't, it's, it's not different. It's the same. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do something. Uh, since today we're going to start with lesson, with the countries and nationalities, okay? Uh, I'm just going to randomly choose five, five names of countries. I will try not to put the punctuations on them because these are countries that will sound a little bit similar to, the, to how they sound in English. Actually, they will sound exactly the same almost. Okay, I'm going to write the names of these countries randomly, whatever crosses my mind first, 
And you tell me what you are reading. Okay, and then we can go to our document, the, the main document. So, what did I write? Canada. Yes, Canada. You see the calf, noon, dal, alif. Calf, noon, dal, alif. Canada. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to write another one, which is a little bit tricky in the way I write it, but it's the same way you pronounce it in the actual country itself. Joe, what do you read here? Uh, Italia. Eh, Italia. Exactly the same way as they pronounce it. You see, I put my Hamza under the Alif. I followed it with a Ye, which makes it E. And then you have the top followed by the Alif. And then you have the lamb. And then you have the with a spoon, lamb with a spoon. And then you have Ye and then an Alif, Italia. Okay, let's try another one. Here, I'm gonna put the Hamza followed by a Wow. What did I write? Chukatabit. Australia. Yeah, Australia. You see, the Australia. Alif is followed by a wow. Oh, oh. And then you have t, t, r, alif, tra, and then lam, ye, alif. Australia. This is the, Haida uh, Alam Australia. This is the flag of Australia. Yes, eh? I think. Yes. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> طيب اوكي يلا جو شو عم بكتب؟ فرنسا يس فرنسا ان ستاندرد ارابيك دي سي فرنسا ان ذا لبنيز دايلكت وي برونونس ات وذ ا سكون اون ذا في ان فولود باي ا فتحه اون ذا اون ذا ر سو اتس فرنسا 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 يعني فرنس فرنسا Okay, شو بعد عنا؟ رح اكتبه already I said it like I by just putting the flag but that's how you can write it with the Hamza under under the Alif because it's E, E, Spania, okay? S, Ba, we don't have a P so we will have to write it with a Ba, S, Ba but we will pronounce it S, Ba, Espania, Espania, okay? Okay, uh, like the least I can do is write this. So, so cut a bit. Lebanon, Minal. Eh, Lebanon, Lebanon. Okay, I'm gonna write one more that I am personally am connected to. Let me see if you can read it. Armenia. Eh, Armenia. Yes, very good. Armenia, yani Armenia. Okay. So I did. I didn't write the. I didn't write. Draw the flag. So let me draw the flag. Armenia. A alif with the hamza. I can put the fatha if I want. Alif. R with a spoon if I want. Ar mi Armin ya Armenia. So let's put the flag. Armenia. And by the way, even if you write in Arabic, you can still find the flag. Okay? You will still find the flag of the country. So, Yol, I'm going to stop the share of my uh, phone now. And we can go to our document that we will be working on today. Okay?